Okay, I'm on Sheehan Drive. This is number four with Tom Parks. Right. Is that it? Okay, yeah. great. And Tom called me up and said that he had noticed after watching one of the videos that his grinder pump was very high off the ground. And this is extremely high. Um, so if we look from the ground barrier line, we see that it's 17 inches and the light uh, is fading. So you might not be able to see that very well, but I hope you can. And um, this means that this could easily be a good candidate uh, for a freeze up. I see. Uh, anyway. Uh, so, Tom, how long have you been living here? We've been here since 2005. 2005, okay. So, were you here when the grinder pump went in? No. You weren't? Okay. And um, now, looking at this, I would say, based on everything that's surrounding it, that there hasn't been a lot of regrading uh, of this area. No, not since they put it in. Exactly. Uh, the um, And uh, I can see your electrical, con you do have a conduit for your electrical cable, which is good, because uh, that protects it. When it's up this high, one of the problems is that the, the uh, electrical cable is not protected, but if it has a conduit on, it is connected. Now, I would definitely recommend um, that you add soil around this to the extent that you're able to. Mm -hmm. Obviously, for example, it's uh, somewhat close to the house, so you can't necessarily bring the entire level up right. to the proper level without, you know, starting to interfere with uh, your stairs and other things. Mm -hmm. But that will definitely help to insulate it, right. and this would be a good candidate for uh, insulating it on the inside mm -hmm. also to prevent it from freezing. Now, have you ever been away in the winter? Fortunately, last year we weren't. So yeah. They're, they're, uh, so we've really not been, as a whole family, been away during the winter. Yeah. So, so that might be uh, one reason why maybe you haven't had a problem. Right. Uh, previous, I'm not sure what year this actually went in here. I think it went in four. actually when we came in 2005. Yeah. I, I believe you know they probably I think they put them in that same year. Oh, so okay. I can't remember if they're putting it in when we moved in or if oh, okay. it was before we moved in. I'll, I'll check that. But the previous yeah. owner probably wouldn't have had a problem then because they had just only had it for yes, a short time. Exactly, right. And the fact that you've went uh, for about, what is it, 2006? So that's yeah. like eight years yeah. is, Nine I years. think, pretty lucky. Yeah. But we, is, had, we had, did have a failure. Yeah. And I had a rebuilt pump put in, I think, in about uh, four years ago. Okay. But it wasn't had nothing to do with uh, winter freeze up. Right yeah, now. right. Right. And... Um, other than, other than that, uh, I would say that here's where we have a potential problem on, on this installation. And that is, not only uh, is, is this pump subject to freeze, but the low pressure line that comes out of the pump is going to be correspondingly higher to the surface mm -hmm. because it comes out on the side of the pump opposite the overflow, which is right here, which is what you'd normally expect because right. it's going to go from here to the street. Mm -hmm. And you don't know exactly what path it's going to take, but um, it's fair to say that in this area where it's running to the street, it's not going to be anywhere near the correct depth. It's mm -hmm. supposed to be four feet deep. The whole line to the street. The line is. That's because yeah. that's the, the, the established frost line in this right. area where mm -hmm. if it's that deep, it won't freeze. But in this case, it's going to be more like, you know, less than three feet. Uh, that's a serious problem. Mm -hmm. And the reason why that's a serious problem is because if that were to freeze, you, that repair would cost more because it requires excavation. Right. Uh, it could freeze at, you know, at, at, any, at any point here yeah. because it could conceivably be about a foot uh, too shallow all the way out to the street. You don't know where, and at this point you don't actually know the, exactly what direction it's going to go in either. And that's going to be on you. That's, right. that's right. not covered by the program. So that's actually, I would say, a more severe risk. Right. The pump itself, if it did freeze, would not be a loss for you because they would cover it. It would be an inconvenience. Uh, it could represent more than an inconvenience if its failure caused a backup in your house, for example. So it's definitely, even though it's covered, you certainly don't want that. Yeah. But I would say that you have a more serious problem here because you have a, if we have a very cold January where we don't have snow, this is what happened yeah. in this last, we had, uh, we went below zero, beginning of January, no snow on the ground. And we had freeze ups in Chelmsford. Uh, and it really only has to do with a pump like this. It really simply has to do with that single variable of whether or not you happen to be away from your house. Right. Now, you know about this, mm -hmm. but sometimes there's an emergency. You have to go away for some reason you couldn't plan for. 
And that's why I would recommend uh, bringing the level up on, uh, so as to help protect yourself uh, to the to an extent which is you know practicable. Uh, I I don't have a magic answer here because obviously we can't even tell exactly where this is. Yeah, and I, it's original. I think the excavation. Okay. The excavation was like down this side of the property line. Oh. So okay. So I believe it would probably. I don't know where it came out. This if it came. It would have off. to have come off and then curved yeah, around. So that's and, hard. And then yeah. And okay. Anyway, it's very interesting, yeah. and I. I um, now, is this something that the town should address? Uh, well, if there was an improper installation.